all right what's up y'all just a short video to show some of the next steps of the uh conservation of this copy of detective comics number 59 second appearance of the penguin so we had dry cleaned it we had done a total immersion in hexane to remove the tape that was how we removed the what they call the carrier um, which is the plastic part of the tape that left the adhesive behind because the adhesive is not especially soluble in hexane then we went back and we spot removed the adhesive with um <clears throat> xylene which is a more polar solvent and i've successfully done that off camera mostly i showed you the sort of the general technique and you can tell because where the tape was it's not sticky it doesn't stick to your fingers right <clears throat> the removal of the tape did uh reveal you know that the color touch was perhaps a bit more extensive than we realized at first not a big surprise not a big deal we did salvage this one piece of the cover right here it was on a piece of tape and um it's in good shape we will use a conservation method to mend that and to put it back on the book when we're done <clears throat> so what's next is a uh, a wash we're going to do a full aqueous wash on this and our hope is that we will remove some of the ink i do think we've got a little bit of the color touch removal just from what we did with the um, two solvents that we use now we're going to go to a very polar solvent water with um, a surfactant in it so what are we going to use um, we're going to use a solution of water with one percent triton x100 we're going to use warm water and we're going to use the same uh, photo developing tray that I showed you before so here's that tray we have a piece of Rame paper which is non-woven uh, polyester we're gonna put another piece of Rame over top to protect the book and then we're gonna put our solution right over that this is one liter of warm water it's approximately 100 to 110 degrees fahrenheit that's from my tap and it has as i mentioned uh approximately one percent triton x 100. So one liter is what we're going to add, and I'll make some more of this up because we're going to do about probably three to four washes. I like to cut the remain paper a bit long so that I can shift it like this in the water bath. Okay, and that allows us to get sort of the best of both worlds in terms of its total immersion, but we don't have to entirely depend upon uh, just diffusion we can get a little bit of convective flow of the fluid you'll note that we're already getting some color bleed out of the paper um, here with the red and we know that we already got some loss of yellow with the uh, with the organic solvents we used earlier so <clears throat> this is to be expected we had really good uh inks with this we're going to lose some of the inks and that's an acceptable trade-off for the um getting the color touch out of the paper so i'm going to monitor this and um, as i said i'm expecting to do about three or four washes of about say 15 minutes each 10 to 20 minutes is kind of recommended and we'll see what we have at the end of that how much of the <clears throat> color touch has been removed by this and how much we may have to go to a 
uh, perhaps a more aggressive method to get some of the color touch out. So I'll do that off camera and come back and show you my results. What's up, y'all? Dr. Paul again with this cover to Detective Comics number 59, the second appearance of the Penguin. <clears throat> so this uh, cover I washed. I did two 10-minute washes in one liter of warm water with 1% Triton X 100. I did two of those washes and then I did two rinses with tap water, warm tap water, 10 minutes each. And then of course, um, dried it under weight so that it would not ripple as it dried so that it stayed flat. The good news is we removed a lot of the color touch with that treatment. So the blue color touch is, um, I think, effectively gone. You see these areas here where they had color touched with blue. Now um, you can see the white paper fibers, and that's what we knew would happen, right? Blue is gone. Red is dramatically diminished. So there were a couple color touches of red. The best example is right here. You can see there was red color touch, and that is very faded, not 100% gone. The biggest issue we have left is it did not lift the black color touch nearly as well as the other two colors. So here's maybe the best example of it. There's a line right there. That's 100% color touch. And you can tell it's been blurred and faded, but it's still there. There's also a good example here. There's black color touch in this background here and here and here. And those areas too, this is looks almost not diminished at all. If we look at this page from the back side, you can tell that this black ink is moving. This was a very dark black line before, and now you can see it's kind of a faded indigo color. Um, so the good news is we, we diminished that, and we, we essentially took out the blue color touch and the green, actually, because there was green color touch in here. We decreased quite a bit the red color touch. And there was a bright red spot up here somewhere, and you can see it's gone. So that's the good news. The bad news is we gave up a lot of the intensity of this red to do that. This was a deeper, darker red up in here, and we lost that. So... We faded the color some. I think we faded this bar a bit as well. I know that we lost some yellow, although um, it doesn't it doesn't appear as dramatic when you lose the yellow or some of the yellow. So those are the trade offs. That's those are the results so far. That's what we we gave up. So that's the good news and the bad news. Um, what's next? What's next is we've come this far. I don't think it makes any sense to um, stop here. I think we need to do something to get rid of this black color touch. And if we're successful with this, then this is a great candidate for a conserved book. Um, we know that we had non-original staples. Um, we also know that we had, you know, some paper damage um, we were able to save this piece that goes right there, right? That was there with the tape. We removed all the tape, so that's great. So what I think I'll do is we're going to go back to using a nonpolar solvent, and we're going to see if we can't get these black inks lifted out of here and uh, maybe finish off the red. 
And if we can do that, hopefully without too much more fading of the rest of the ink, then we could reassemble this book with um, conservation methods, right? So we'll probably do some Tengujo paper um, with wheat paste to put this back in. We can reinforce this area and any of these others with the same methods. And then we'll have a conserved book where we can get um, blue label with, with gray bar. And I think we will dramatically um, improve the value of the book, even if we've diminished somewhat the eye appeal by removing this. Um, you know, to a casual observer that that looked less beat up with the color touch in it, right? But we know serious comic collectors and folks that are trying to preserve this material for the next generation, like myself, we'd rather have a more beat up book that's an honest book than uh, one that's been color touched. So I do think we're moving in the right direction. And um, I'm going to move back to uh, a nonpolar solvent and see what I can do about the black color touch. And we'll give you an update uh, with results after I've done that.